Hello and good morning. My name is Cody, also known as Just Two Eyes. And I'm not famous. Yeah. And I've been doing this YouTube thing for quite some time. You done? And I think I have some advice to give. A few videos ago, I talked about why I love making videos, because I do. It's something that's a very passionate hobby for me, something that I think about all the time. But I figured, why not make a video on how to make videos? That's what this is. This is a video about making videos. Yeah, I went there. Step one, you need to have an idea. I mean, of course, it's if you're just doing regular vlogs, we just want to talk about your ideas and stuff that you're feeling and all that good stuff, fine work with that but if you want to go for a certain uh, niche I think that's the word you have to have an idea you have to have something that you want to go along with you have to be somewhat prepared in the first place you gotta you know I want to do this I want to take these steps I want to make sure that I'm in the right place at the right time for when such and such events happen for what I want to do uh, step one is very important I mean you don't want to go through step one you don't want to get to step two without having step one step two is equipment not like high grade type of equipment, but you know, a camera usually helps. You can use your phone or anything. A tripod, as I have, because hands free. Uh, something to upload the videos on, like a laptop. A program to edit the videos, such as Sony Vegas. Having the right equipment is very important. I mean, you don't have to have the best, you don't have to have the top notch. And after you have your equipment, after you've played with it a little bit, because I highly suggest you play with it press all the buttons, do all the things, um, and record yourself. Like, before you actually get started, record yourself. Just turn on the camera and start talking. And be sure to look more at the camera and not at the, well, am I pointing? Yeah, I'm pointing straight at it. And not at the, uh, the, the monitor capture thing. I mean, that's why I look at most of the time, look at myself, but you, you know, look at the camera. You know, that's very helpful. It's good to usually you know start a bond with your camera because after a point you start to realize you are just talking to yourself in a room alone with a possibly imaginary stuffed tiger so that's the next step get used to yourself that's step three right yes uh idea equipment get used to yourself Get used to yourself. Get used to saying things over and over. Get used to, you know, spitballing ideas to yourself and then talking back to yourself on how to do it. That's very, very important. It really is. Trust me. Step four, editing. This, that's kind of important if you really want to be one of those, you know, jump cut, quick paced, uh, put up all kind of stuff editors because, you know, you, I mean, unless you're just going to put up a video, talk like I normally do for like five minutes straight and then upload the video, but if you want to edit, you got to know how to edit. Look up tutorials, there's lots of them out there. And it's good to separate yourself from your editor self. Like the way I do it, there's me, Cody, and then there's editor Cody. Hey, editor Cody. Hey, buddy. Yeah, editor Cody, he's the one who's, who's more upset than anything. I mean, he's, you know, like, like if I did this right now. This is... Like if I just decided to pull my bike into frame, yeah, pull my bike into frame, get on my bike. Hey, how you gonna fix this one, Editor Cody? What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? You gonna do something? You ain't gonna do nothing. Is, is he doing something to my face? I hope he's not doing something to my face. And that leads to step five. I really hope I'm on point. But the next step, you have to be in the moment. Be uh, uh, ever present, omnipresent with yourself. Like constantly think while you're uh, talking. You know, I mean, constantly come up with new things. Like if I say, I wanted to put a dragon right here. You know, this means I'd have to look up something, find a dragon, put it right here. And you know, it's good to be, to think. You know, like if you know you wanna, you wanna put something up on screen, step to the side. Put up something right here that you know it's kind of awesome yeah that that'll work did did you put up something stupid he, don't 
Step six, or whatever the next step is, have something for people to look at besides yourself, Graham. You know what I mean? It's good to have something that'll catch someone's eye when they look at your thumbnail. Because when people see my thumbnails, they don't only see me, they see my wall. They see all this beautiful magnificence. And you know, and they usually spot something that they like, something that they nerd out about. And it's like, oh hey, this guy might be into the type of things that I'm into. Let me check him out. Have uh, an interesting um, title for the video. Not clickbait. Don't put just anything and be like, people are like that. It has to relate to the video, but make it something interesting. Be a little clever about it. You know, I came up with like six different names before I just decided a video about making videos. Simple as it gets, but I guarantee you to catch attention. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> And if this isn't the type of something that catches someone's opinion, if they're not into Avatar or Mario or Legend of Zelda or Doctor Who or Mass Effect or Dragon Balls, I got a lot of stuff on the wall, then they might be interested in this. Come walk with me. Take take, take a walk. They might be interested in that. Yeah. That catch your attention? Is that got it? This is going to be the thumbnail, by the way. Step seven or eight. Let's, next step. Love what you're talking about know what you're talking about that's two like very important things to love what you're talking about and to know what you're talking about last step number 11 or 12 whatever the fuck number i'm on the community if you're gonna build a youtube channel and you want an audience and you want people to watch you communicate with them hey how you doing you doing all right you look great today yeah you it really all that all that just works it does and i love it and it's good to, to get people down in the comments. You know, giving people reason to get down in the comments. Like, what's your favorite Dragon Ball? Tell me down in the comments below and why. Don't just say number seven because if there's a reason why, let me know. Um, I don't remember exactly which Dragon Ball it was in Dragon Ball Z when Goku, when Gohan was really young. I believe it was five or six when he had to dive underwater and they couldn't make it at first. And then, you know, they had to go find and put on the capsule corp suits to go under. That was great. Like, it, like I love the exploration of when they really looked for the Dragon Balls. That was great because it fit the show's name. You see, reasons give people something to talk about. And if you know what Dragon Ball it is that they want to go do it, tell me in the comments below. See, communication with the community. But that'll be that. So if you like what I'm doing, you want to see what else I'm doing, go check it out and let me know what you think because I'm always interested to know. So, yeah. <laughs> that felt good. 